Okay, for step four, you will need two short pieces of wood, 100 by 50. Okay, we've, t uh, we've got our holes drilled, as prepared earlier. Okay, and we're now going to assemble the box frame part, okay? So again, put your good size on the outside. Into your vise there like that. We're going to be using PVA glue. Now this is very strong, wood, proper wood strength professional. It's not being watered down like stuff you guys use in classroom. This is literally bits of wood will rip off this. Okay, so we're going to be, be gluing and nailing. Then we get one of our bits of wood. We line it up so it's all nice and flush. There's no gaps there. There's no gap there. So we're not doing anything dodgy like that, or like that, or like that. Okay. So we look all nice and professional. Line it up. Put your little 25 mm panel pin in. Get your hammer. And then tap things in. So, like that, okay, tap one in there, then turn around, put the other small piece in, like that, turn around, put a bit of glue on again. Okay, and this is a, what's called a butt joint because we're butting it all up together, okay? So that's why we're building terminology. Okay. Those two one, the first three pieces, the first two pieces like this are done on the vise. The last one is done on the bench. Now, when you're doing the last step, okay, we need to make sure our middle holes line up with our middle holes and our rear wheel holes, which are these ones here, line up with the rear wheel holes. Okay. If it's a bit wonky like that, we'll nail these ones in quite tight, then we'll just give that a little bit of a push. And that will leave, leave everything up, okay? So we'll do this one first. Like that. Okay. And we'll line this one up all pro. So again, we're worrying about this one, we'll worry about that one later on. Okay, yeah, all the wheels in line. You can put a pencil down there like this, for example, and that can, and if it lines up, that's all good. You can do that with both holes, and that's what's called the pencil test. Okay. Check that's all looking good, yeah. Okay, okay so we've got our gap here, so it's sitting like that. We want to now push that in so it all's all, all nice and even. The reason why we do some pilot holes is because it stops the cracking of the wood. Oops, okay, now if you bend the nail, a couple of ways you can do it, you need to tap up like that. Okay, or you get some blunt nose pliers and pull them out if it's already damaged. Okay. So you got your frame looking vaguely how it should do. So it should look something like that. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Then we get what this is called a tri square or a square. And see that's a little bit out at the moment. Okay, so we just give that a little bit of a nudge like that, because while it's bit, it's all movable. And while that's sitting all nice and square like that, okay. Check out the edges. Okay, all good. Okay. Awesome, and that's four.